Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I pee. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to ring that post notification bell so that you can receive a notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you. Welcome back, YouTube. Yep, it's 2024. Just another way to watch the new year, but it's really not a new year. New year is really when it's, you know, warmer outside. You got new flowers, new trees, uh, you know, new leaves. You know what I mean? New green grass. That's the new year. Not the day that winter when it's cold and stuff can freeze. That's not, there's nothing new about that. Anywho, <laughs> I'm talking about radio today, all right? When it comes to radio, we all love radio. Most of us do. We love music. You know, music to our ears. You know, we get up. You know, we look forward to listening to our favorite radio talk show host. We listen to, we just want to hear the songs that we like to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But it's like, it gets to the point where it's like, they just need to stick to just music. They want to talk politics. They want to talk religion. They want to give medical advice. You know, they want to push these certain agendas. And I'm not with that. You know what I mean? They want to push meds on you. They want to push the jab on you. They want to push a political party. And they want to push religion on you. Those are a lot of things that they do. I'm here to talk about all those things. All right. So to be honest, music should be number one. You know, the stars should come on there, quote unquote, stars, the singers, whatever, should come on a radio station and talk about their careers because, you know, y'all music is on a radio. So I think y'all should come to those radio stations and talk to those people. But stop bringing on these doctors where they're pushing all this medical advice and everybody talking about Jesus and everybody on these radio stations are a certain political party. It's there. They're pushing agendas. All right. Ricky Smiley, you can tell that he's a Democrat. There's no question about it. Ricky Smiley is also a comedian, and he's an actor. And he is funny. He has a good talk show. But he be bringing these doctors on here, on there, okay, that give false advice, all right? They never talk about anything natural. They never speak of anything like that, okay? I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying, you know, diet and exercise. Nobody can fault me on diet and exercise being a good way to heal yourself and take care of yourself, your, your overall health. I never hear doctors say that. And they're on there saying, you know, people call in and asking questions like, you know, I have this and I have that. What can I do? Only thing these doctors do is push medicine, 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 pushing the jab, the jab, the jab. You can tell that they're there to push agendas. And I'm sick of it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know that Ricky Smiley says that he go get the jab and he's proud of that. All right. But people who like him are going to start following him. People shouldn't follow on stuff they don't understand what it's about. All right. There's a lot of things that have been coming out about the jab, and I'm not here to talk about that. I'm just saying, you know, make your own choice of what you're going to do, but stop listening to radio personalities to make you do shit, okay? Because on those shows, I promise you, it's going to be one religion you're going to hear about, and it's going to be about Christianity. They're pushing God and Jesus. You never hear them say Muslim. You never hear a Jew call in a Jehovah Witness. That's strange, right? There's nobody that loves Allah. There's nobody that calls Jesus Yeshua, you know, any of those things. It's just all Christianity. Everything is God and Jesus. That's not even fair. There's people who listen to the radio who do not believe in Jesus and God. But here y'all go pushing it on people. That, that doesn't make any sense. That's not even normal. You only hear talk of Jesus. How, that, that doesn't make any sense. There's nobody with a different opinion. You know what I'm saying? It, it, there, nobody opposes anything. It just doesn't make any sense. Also, when it comes to politics. Everybody on these certain radio stations that I listen to are all Democrats. So, yes, they're all pushing to get rid of Trump. They're on the anti-Trump hate. You know what I'm saying? And one of the people that hate Trump the most, the most is D.L. Hughley. Everybody know it. D.L. Hughley cannot stand Trump. All right? And one time he was on stage talking about Trump. All of a sudden he lost his speech and he fell out and passed out. It reminded me of everybody else who talks and end up slurring their speech and under some type of MK type of situation. It just reminded me that he was talking he fell down right after he was talking about Trump. He was talking, the speech started slowing, he passed out, they escorted him out. The whole thing was just strange. And what gets on my nerves is these people have to push these agendas, you know, knowing the truth about how voting really is set up. They're talking about people going out and voting and talking, acting like these presidents really have power and acting like, you know, the people are the ones making the choice. You know, they're just there to push agendas. Like he knows that it doesn't matter who goes on the vote. But he's pushing people to 
hate Trump. It's just like, why? What is the reason behind y'all hating Trump? Is because y'all know that he's trying to expose things? They let him say things that most presidents don't really say? What is it? i never seen a president hate it so much, but it's not really about Trump. This is just an example of these, you know what I'm saying? These, these radio personalities on there speaking about politics, you know, and religion and stuff where it really should just be music. What happens to it just being about music? Okay? I'm tired of that. They're on there giving advice on, you know, like I said, they'll talk about things, right? Like, here's an example. They were talking about cloning, right? On my hometown radio station, okay? They were talking about cloning. Talking about some monkey that been cloned recently or whatever. And the girl that's on there saying stuff like, well, you know, they're saying that this is a start, you know. This monkey is going to be used, you know, for, you know, this purpose and that. But do you know how long that they've been doing that? They're giving false information on there speaking like this is some new shit. This has been going on for, 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 for centuries now. This is nothing new. They've been cloning animals. They've been cloning people. This is, this is no question about that. All right? But just listening to her talk like that, speaking like they're telling somebody some new information. And then speaking about it like they don't know what's going on. And it makes you wonder, you know, how much do they really know? And if they don't know much, it's really sad that they're out there giving advice. Because if you don't know shit, you shouldn't be saying shit, right? The whole thing just got on my head. And real quick on the anti-Trump ones. When they get to talking about Trump, especially D.L. Hughley, all right, and Ricky Smiley. They ignore Biden. They don't talk about how Biden cannot speak, how he cannot walk, how he can't comprehend. He doesn't even know where he is half the time. The man looks like he's wearing a mask. He used to be taller. He used to speak different, talk different. It's not the same person, in my opinion, allegedly. All right? I have to say that. But, you know, that, does that make any sense? You can tell his agenda being pushed. How are you going to ignore Biden? How are you going to ignore that? All his slurs and all the weird shit that he's saying just go straight to hating Trump. Those are agendas. Understand and overstand, okay? That radio hosts are only on there for agendas, all right? They're on there to push religion. They're on there to push politics. They're on there to push, you know, medical advice. And they're on there to push you to think and feel a certain way. It's just like the media does because they're part of the media. So beware of radio personalities, all right? You can like them all you want to, but be careful when it comes to taking advice from these people, all right? Because they really cannot be trusted. It's just basically just as simple as that. Now, I remember I told you, you know, what happened to D.L. Hughley, you know, a couple of years ago when he was on stage talking, you know, it reminded me of the same thing that happened to Wendy Williams when she was on stage during Halloween time. She had that United that, uh, Statue of Liberty. And then she, quote unquote, passed out with her eyes open, the most strange pass that I ever seen until I started seeing more after that. That was strange. All right, that's what it reminded me of. TMZ had put it up. I don't want to get copyrighted from them, so I'm not going to put it up. I just want to say you can go find it on YouTube. Um, you know, TMZ put it up, and it was showing how Dale Hughley was on stage talking, then he passed out. Like I said, it reminded me of Wendy Williams. And then, you know, years ago, I don't know if anybody's seen this, but Johnny Depp was outside, all right? And he was, you know, walking out of a place. He was being escorted by people. And, you know, he was being swarmed by fans, and people were, you know, he was signing autographs, right? All of a sudden... Somebody came up, one of the men that was with him, I guess he was his handler. There's no question, he was his handler. He literally pushed Johnny Depp on the ground, all right? All right? And then he got, stood him right back up like a statue. And this was in front of all the fans, so they was looking like, what? You know, why you do it to Johnny? What you doing? It was weird because he got right back up, signed an autograph still. Now, in real life, somebody would be like, man, what the fuck are you doing? What you pushing me for? They would be like, whoa, you know, saying something like that. Like, oh my goodness, like, wow, whoa. He didn't do none of that. You know, he stood right back up, signed an autograph. It was like he wasn't who he was. Like, he was like, <laughs> he was being completely controlled. They pushed him down, stood him back up. He was like a prop. It was weird. Then he went into the car doing these weird things with his hand over the head. The whole thing was just weird. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, check into these people, all right? Understand that uh, they not who you think they are. They may be there, you know, making you laugh and smile and, you know, giving you what you think is real advice and stuff, but they are all there to push agendas like i said they're pushing religion politics and medical advice and just other shit that i wouldn't even be don't take advice from these people all right anyway thank you for watching this video especially if you have made it all the way to the end i appreciate you all right i um will start doing more videos it's just for some reason i don't really get my views that i want and it's like I'm not in the algorithm. I'm not the shadow banning me. Whatever. Just please look out for my channel. If you don't send it from me, go to my channel and check it out. Um, I spill coffee, not tea. Check me out, all right? And y'all enjoy y'all weekends. Make sure you leave a like, 
Make sure you comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. All right, and make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. Also, can you please make sure you check out this last video I did? I know it was a while back, but uh, <clears throat> check it out because it's very, very interesting and it's going to have you tripping. Every video I do is to make you think, all right? Enjoy your weekend. Mwah. Coffee drinkers. <laughs>